Hi Leo, this is your reading with me for the 6th to the 12th of December. I hope you are doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's coming through for this particular week for you. And this is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. I also wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, um, you can check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Also, private paid reading information is down below. They are done within 12 to 24 hours with me and you can find all of that down below as well. Also, um, there are there is my website which has intention manifesting items which thousands of people have seen results with, so definitely do check out the review section on shopmoonlightguidance.com, it's at the bottom of the website. There are intention manifesting items with lots of different categories and then lots of items in each of those categories. So there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, um, intention pouches, candles, crystals, sage, so you can check everything out. Candles have been restocked and they are handmade, safety tested, plant-based and they are absolutely divine. <laughs> so you can check those out for lots of different intentions as well. All right, so that being said, let's get started with the with the reading. Leo, let's have a look and see. Okay, all right, there you are. Okay, so there is a lot of really great energy around the sense that you're going to feel so much good, like so much, like so complete within yourself and opportunities are just coming your way. To me, what I feel is happening here is that the wait, the like the wait is over, the waiting game is over. If you've been waiting for an opportunity to come your way, you're going to hear back for it in this particular week. If you've been waiting for a specific answer from a person, this is it. This is when you're going to hear an answer. This is when you're going to know what is what. And it gives you strength and confidence because this week, you just feel so much more like yourself. You feel uplifted, you feel strong, you feel content, you feel motivated, you feel courageous, you have energy, which I feel like some of you may have felt like really tired in previous weeks, had trouble perhaps sleeping. This is a good week where you feel motivated and you feel enthusiastic. And the Knight of Cups here shows someone romantically also being interested in you, uh, coming towards you, contacting you, communicating with you. So I think that it's a really, really lovely 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 week now let's see what the weight is over in regards to because that can be picked up on yeah so someone here is very much so offering you an opportunity so in regards to work and your career there is definitely an opportunity here where an application can get approved or if you are networking with someone communicating with someone in regards to finding out details about something they're really just laying everything out on the table not being necessarily dishonest or anything but they're just telling you the truth of like this is what it is take what you want you know in that sense and also in regards to like romantic connections people are being quite open with you in terms of communication and conversation and I think that it's really, really lovely because a lot of you have been waiting to have like some romantic conversation with people um, or to talk about important things in a relationship. So for example, if you are in a relationship, you might be talking about more serious things. You may be talking about uh, more important things, right? That perhaps you didn't really discuss before. If you're dating, this means that things are a lot less superficial and a lot more interesting in terms of you actually getting to know them. So that's what I see with the King of Swords, right? There's actually fact and information and knowledge that is tied to it, which I think is great because it's not just kind of like small talk. We're getting a little bit deeper into things and it's not necessarily becoming as uncomfortable. Ooh, a lot of you have waited for this. There you go. See, three of wands. A lot of you have waited for things to not be as like small talk-like and for things to be much more uplifted in the sense of actually connecting on a deeper level. I think that's amazing. Yep, there you go. So we've got the sun in Sagittarius and we've literally got the Sagittarius energy here. So it just goes to show that there's a real nice balance and flow with the communication you're having with others. They seem to understand you, respect you, be kind and caring towards you. Um, and just really, really, really nice, really nice energy. Moon. Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Page of Wands. Ooh, it's so nice. See, what's hidden comes to light. So we're going below the surface in regards to conversations. Things are not just surface level. 
conversations, you're going a lot deeper in terms of like feelings, feelings being brought to the surface, people telling you things that they kept hidden to themselves, but in a really nice way. Like these are nice things that they say to you with the King of Cups, you know, in expressing their emotions to you. Um, reaching out to you. For example, if there's someone that you haven't really spoken to in a while, they can really think about reaching out to you in this week as well. Keep in mind that for some of you, they'll reach out to you in this week. And for others of you, they might really be excessively like thinking about how to do so, which in itself is a big change and something that perhaps you've been waiting for in order for them to actually be triggered to come towards you. It varies from person to person because for some of you, you're dealing with someone that's very, very slow. It takes a lot of time. And for others of you, you're dealing with someone who's on the verge of like really coming forward. And I think this is amazing because it really does show that here is that there's hidden things coming to light people being triggered to work towards you and come towards you. Now, some of you may be triggered, right? But I feel here that the Ace of Wands shows somebody else. So even though you may feel triggered, this person here seems to want to come towards you. Ace of Wands is also creativity. You're gonna feel very creative doing different things in this particular week. You might be decorating, you might be making, you might be DIYing, you might be uh, rearranging, organizing, painting, drawing. <laughs> Lots of like creative things that I do see here, like mainly making. And with the King of Cups, you feel really, really happy with the fact that someone here wants to emotionally talk to you and really lay out the facts and be very open with you as well with things that perhaps you felt internally and you felt in your gut and your intuition, but now it's like, oh yes, your gut is correct and your intuition is correct and they actually do want to say what they're about to say. You know what I mean? Like, that's obviously a pretty significant thing. You got the Hanged Man here as well. Hanged Man is Neptune energy, so on the 1st of December, Neptune has gone direct. Now, when Neptune goes direct, it's pretty amazing because actually Neptune going direct really does showcase a powerful energy of the spiritual energies being a little bit more balanced. People who are running away from their intuition seem to not be running away from their intuition anymore. They seem to be a lot more aligned to their emotions and not being as emotionally unavailable or as emotionally invalidating to themselves. So we see here the Pisces energy is very, very powerful and very strong. Perhaps you're dealing with a Pisces, but the main thing here is, is Neptune and Pisces are tied together. So I think that what's really important here is the fact that someone is, is triggered to come towards you once Neptune stops retrograding on the first. And then of course you get into this, um, into this week from the 6th to the 12th. People wanna lay their facts out there. They wanna tell you how they feel about you. They don't wanna hide it anymore. They feel scared to like, lose you and things like that. This can also be to do with friends. I just want to mention that too. Yep, Four of Pentacles. I see many of you trying to save money or be quite like smart in terms of sa uh, saving money. So you have like certain things you want to put money towards, but then you don't want to overdo it. So I see here some saving. We also see the Emperor here. Again, very creative energy. You're trying to honestly mind your own business, work really hard, do the things that you can for yourself. And you're letting this person come to you. I don't really feel like a lot of you want to chase after this person anyways. You may think about them, but I don't feel like you want to chase after them because you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I mean, like, they need to come to me. Mm -hmm. They do, I agree. Queen of Pentacles. You're feeling pretty good within yourself. Again, that courageous energy comes through. Queen of, um, not Queen of, I was going to say Queen of, I don't know why, I was actually thinking of the Queen of Pentacles being next to the Emperor, we also see these rabbits here, now the rabbits do indicate fertility, so I just wanted to mention that, but the other thing here is that you might get some very intimate dreams, I just wanted to point that out there, because it is something that came into my mind, so you may get some int intimate dreams uh, in regards to someone. We also have the Wheel of Fortune, which again shows that you are trying to balance out your finances in this month, and try not to overspend, like that's I'm not telling you try not to overspend, but what I'm seeing is that you're thinking of trying not to overspend. There we go. The the wording of my sentence didn't quite make sense there, but that could be a sign, okay, that the universe is saying try not to overspend. At the end of the day, you can do what you want, obviously, but um, yeah, I see here that you're trying not to overspend. There we go. That came out a lot better. Ace of Cups there as well. Yep, someone here emotionally wants to come forward and say something, um, and they are thinking about that. there's great news here, you know, but it's almost like you don't need to do anything. And I think that's the main thing. The wild card here shows the more you stay in your own power, the more they want to like come towards you, the more they're triggered, 
The more you think about running after them, chasing after them, the less it works, which to be honest, most of you don't want to do that anyways, but slowly but surely they come to you on their own terms. And actually that's, that's how things work a lot better as well, is the less you feel like you need to do, the more it works. Yeah, we love that. We love that energy, right? So I've got here the Mercury Rams Edition 2 cards. These are the message cards. Let's see. Oh, we got two. Okay. This one here says, I'm going to reach out soon. Yeah, so definitely got a reaching out energy. And this one here says, I fear a relationship with you because I don't want to be in another failed relationship. That's it. Let them get themselves together in terms of their emotions, right? Especially if they've been extremely fearful and unsure about things. Let them do what they've got to do on their side. Obviously, you can't like force them to be ready, especially if you're dealing with someone who does have fear towards a relationship. But ultimately... Let them figure that out intuitively by themselves and their emotions because this person's going to reach out to you regardless. So let them come to you and you do you, right? It's, it's, it's like that this week. So yeah, they're definitely thinking about things, but they also do have a little bit of fear, which is why I did say, right, that you're feeling courageous and things slowly but surely are coming together. They're having realizations. And I did mention that if they don't fully come forward towards you, just know that they're having these major realizations, which are also a long time coming as well. So this is your reading, Leo. Of course, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website as well. Definitely do check those out. And don't forget to... Oh yeah, also I have TikTok and Instagram if anyone wants to follow me on there. I post short readings on there every single day. Alright, take care everyone. Bye!